Welcome to the 59th episode of Fellowhorn Happy Hour, celebrating one year, uh, one magical year of happy hours. Hard to believe. I mean, technically, the first happy hour that we ever did was... Um, March, I looked this up, March 16th. So we're a little bit over the, you know, one year anniversary. But March 16th, 2020, we were entering um, quarantine and thought, hey, this week, let's do some happy hours. And I think that was a Monday. And I think we did the second one on a Wednesday and the third one on a Friday. That was very ambitious. Three in a week. But I think three in a week would have uh, worked if quarantine was only two weeks. But little did we know, a year later, we are still here. So, thank you guys for being a part of the happy hour for a year. 59 episodes. Hard to believe. Um, I look back. That, that, that deserves, you know, applause. Somewhere along the happy hour history, I moved from my bedroom over here to my office, moved from my computer onto my phone. I bought myself one of these uh, instant applause machines. I mean, we've grown so much. We have like two different happy hour t-shirts. I started selling masks. So much has changed over the last year. Oh my goodness. But the first song ever on Gullahorn Happy Hour, March 16th, 2020, was this one. And it's still appropriate, I think. All the dishes are done and the candles are out. When the kids are in bed, we collapse on the couch. You head on my shoulder the next half an hour. Everything's as it should be Most of our cereal bowls have a chip We're all out of bread Add that to the list We're late for the bus at the corner again Everything's as it should be God only knows why Something to run away from Why I'd sabotage it And fear that it might someday come undone These rain clouds, they won't give an inch to the sun But at La Hacienda, they have two for one Park in the back where the potholes are puns Everything's as it should be God only knows why it's something to run away from Why I'd sabotage it I know there are times when it wasn't this way Things were as they shouldn't have been, I'm afraid I was stringing together a line of new days But everything's as it should be Everything's as it should be Everything's as it should be Oh my goodness, thank you, that is so kind. I see my buddy David Lamont. David, I'm so glad to see you on here. 
Um, that's so fun. I also saw Bo Black, hoping that tonight is a night. For those of you who are just tuning in or aren't regulars, first of all, if you're not a regular on the Gullahorn Happy Hour, it's totally fine. Anybody who's watching the Gullahorn Happy Hour is as much of the Gullahorn Happy Hour as anybody else, even though some of us have been... I'm not the only one who's been here for 50-plus episodes. But um, Bo Black, country Bo Black, who's up here on our Wall of Fame somewhere, right there in the middle with the cowboy hat on, he's been asking for Cold Hearted Snake. Is that the song you want, Bo? That would have been really great if we prepared that for the, um, you know, the year anniversary, but we didn't. But I wonder if I look up the lyrics right now. Let's see, after I do another song, maybe I'll see if I can find the lyrics. But I, have, I don't really know how it goes. That's going to be a hard one to pull off. And I don't know if I want to, like, surprise it, you know, surprise Jill with, hey, you're singing a song that, I don't know if she knows how it goes. Well, let's deal with it after this next song. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to do another song. I think I did this one in the, uh, the first episode of Gullahorn Happy Hour as well. Um, but I love it because it talks about community. And uh, it's a song that the Love Local theme came out of. And um, I wrote this for, particularly for my friends down in Houston. That's what kind of inspired it after Hurricane Harvey. But, um, you know, when I think back about this year, there's a lot that, um, man, so much has changed over the year, but I'm so grateful for uh, the community and uh, kind of making it through together. So, you know, the new, the new Gullahorn Happy Hour t-shirts say, making it through together. That's what it's about, right? I see torches marching Afraid of losing ground to the right side of history. Statues coming down. I see anger driving straight into the crowd. Though it all feels too far gone to change. Where there is a will, there is a way. It's gonna take a village It's gonna take some time It's gonna take the blood The sweat and tears We're gonna cry We'll face the night together Till the morning comes around It's gonna take a village To bring love
start to lose faith. Every stranger is a neighbor. I just don't know his name. I have to love local for the world to change. It's gonna take a village. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take the blood. Oh my goodness, thank you. And Taylor Leon over here on Instagram. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're tuning in. And she already knows this, but she in a way inspired that song as well because she writes amazing courses. So I was like, I want to write a course like Taylor. Um, so there it is. I, I, I'm not saying I accomplished it, but. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We, we've got some family feud. I've got some homemade family feud questions. For those of you who are new to the happy hour, welcome. Once again, this is the 59th episode, uh, kind of the year anniversary of Gullahorn Happy Hour. Somehow we've been doing this for a year, 59 times, and um, it's been a gift to me to see all these people week after week in a time where we're just like forced to be disconnected. It's a way to be connected and it's been really good for me. So thank you. Um, a couple things I'm going to do to get ready for, I mean, while Bo was on here and before, um, before Jill gets up here, because Jill is coming, I'm just, you know, Bo's been asking for cold hearted snake for a long time. So just let me look up the lyrics here and let's see if this is even pull offable. So cold, Hearted snake lyrics. I don't know why. She's a cold hearted snake. I don't know how the verses go. Um, so here's what's going to happen. Um, we're going to do a family feud thing first. But actually with family feud, I've got some announcements. Maybe I'll save all the announcements for when Jill comes here. But I actually wrote them down on this thing. So I'll go through them really fast. Okay. Look at this. A dry erase board. Announcements. Instagram is backwards. Sorry. There's a 15% discount on the store this week. It lasts from today, right now, until um, after my birthday. My birthday is on Friday. So through my birthday, through Friday night at midnight, there's a 15% discount code. It's called one year. You put in one year at andygullahorn.com on the store, and you get a 15% discount on, you know, whatever it is that you want. Okay. I'm doing this while I'm searching for cold hearted snake on YouTube. Okay. Um, then second, we have um, oh, andygillahorn.com slash happy hour. There are links that you need for happy hour, including um, there's a link to the Patreon thing, patreon.com slash andygillahorn, which uh, the Patreon family, that we've, we had an extra Patreon happy hour, but we do it on Zoom so we can see each other and talk to each other. It is super fun and it I'm sorry it's been going over late every time. And we also, every month, have a game night, which is coming up this weekend, uh, and that's super fun, too. It's, it's just weird and fun. Okay. Uh, and then it has, like, the Venmo and uh, PayPal links. Andy Gullihorn, Andy, Andy Gullihorn. But also today, I don't know if you see this. He's probably not watching because it's his birthday. But Family Feud player David Calvert, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, David. We've had a lot of birthdays this week. Uh, Jen Marshall, Tracy had a birthday. Uh, my sister-in-law, Lindsay, had a birthday. Um, we have another birthday coming up with it. I know Amy Frederick is coming up soon. I see this on Facebook. It's amazing. Thank goodness for Facebook. All right, those are the announcements. Okay, so 
Hold on, real quick. Let's just look look here and see if I can hear what the verse sounds like before I ask you the Family Feud question. Okay, Family Feud. I'm bouncing around. I know it's crazy. I think I'm going to do. I'll start with this one because um, I grew up with with dogs. Um, actually, I'm, I'll just ask the question because now you know what the question is, and I don't want anybody to cheat. Instagram versus Facebook. Here it goes. Uh, we surveyed a bunch of really smart people on my Instagram and Facebook and said, what is your favorite dog breed? And I had the top eight answers. We're going Facebook versus Instagram. First answer is going to play it. Hold on, let me pause Paul Abdul. Okay. I'm looking for the first answers on Instagram and Facebook. Favorite dog breed, what people said. Uh, Steve Marcy over on Instagram has the first answer. And he says, Golden Retriever. And that is the number two out of eight answer. So if Facebook doesn't have the number one answer, then you're going to play that one. Let's see. Well, Doug Bardock also said Golden Retriever. Um, okay. <laughs> Emma says Invisible Dogs. Um, I like Invisible Dogs. I don't know if that's a... Well... <laughs> no dogs. Uh, rescue dogs. I mean, I don't know if it's a breed, but it's a category. It's actually a category that many people said, but not anybody in the top eight. So Instagram's going to play this one. We have eight answers. We have the number two answer. I'm going to go through this fast. Golden Retriever was the number two answer. Let's see. We've got Lulu WCU. I'm guessing I know who that is, but for right now, it's Lulu WCU. Hey, Facebook, pay attention too, because you can steal this. Somebody over here on Facebook, you'd be in charge of the, you know, putting the big X's up there. If they, if they happen to get the X's over on. Okay, Lab. She says Lab. That's the number one answer. Excellent job. Dachshund. Brooke. AU98 says Dachshund. And that is not in the top eight. I am so sorry. That's the first strike. Somebody over Facebook. Give me one strike over there. Jeremy the Camel says Lab. Rachel says... Husky, that is the number five answer. Excellent job. You got three out of the eight. Lots more golden retrievers and labs. Taylor says Shih Tzu. That is number not on there. Oh my goodness, that is two strikes. Somebody on Facebook put up the strikes. Sarah Jean, thank you for doing the strikes. I was thinking about you. I hope you were on here when I just wished David a happy birthday. Okay. Thanks for putting the strikes up there. Sarah Jean, you're really good at the strikes. Two strikes for Instagram. Pay attention, Facebook. Um, Golden Doodle. Annie says that. Golden Doodle. I'm sorry. But that's number three. Oh, did I trick you? I hope so. Okay. Golden Doodle, good answer. So right now we have Lab, Golden Retriever, Golden Doodle, a Husky, and we have two strikes. Um, Taylor says yellow lab, but the labs kind of all got lumped together. I know they're different, but so it goes. Whitney says bulldog, which is not in there. That's three strikes. So the first answer on Facebook after Sarah Jean or somebody puts the third strike up there. Um, the first answer on Facebook is going to try to steal. There are a number of answers still on the board. Well, there's still four answers on the board. Wait, I'm looking for the third. Oh, there it is. There's the three strikes. Sarah Jean put it. The next answer after that on my screen here says German Shepherd. Will it be Instagram or Facebook taking this one? Doug Pitts, you're cheating. I'm watching on Facebook. Oh, he's like a scout. He's like a spy. I like that. Um, or did you get kicked out to Facebook? Sorry, I said I would go fast. I don't remember what it was you just said. German Shepherd, I think. And that is not on there. I am so sorry. Instagram wins. Good job, Instagram. Okay, the answer was Lab, Golden Retriever, Golden Doodle. Number four was Corgi. Number five was Husky. Visla, a Mutt. And number eight was English Springer Spaniel. 
There you go. Okay. Now, since we're taking a break right now, I just need to listen to one thing here. Oh, I thought I was deep into the... Okay, I've got to learn this. I've never played this song before, but... Okay, Bo, I'm only doing this for you. So many people have asked for this song, and Jill's probably gonna be mad. Okay, that's close enough. We'll see if I can uh, destroy it. All right, that's easy. That's enough. If there's a bridge, then I'm gonna be messed up. <laughs> Jane, you're wondering what's happening. I told Bo, I, we should have prepared Cold Hearted Snake for Bo Black for the one year anniversary and, oh, we'll see what happens. Oh, Instagram. You won. Do you have a um, do you have a request? Instagram. I realized that Facebook Instagram doesn't know that Facebook Bo Black is somebody over on Facebook, and he every week, every week, he um, says he asks for "Cold Hearted Snake" by Paula Abdul. So I, I realize that nobody on Instagram sees that. But he's been asking every week, and every week Jill just kind of ignores him. Well, she might still ignore you this week. Um, okay, I'm waiting for a request other than Cold Hearted Snake now over on Instagram. Or I'll just play something. Okay, Jeremy has a request. I can do that one. actually did this the other night on the, um, the Patreon happy hour because we played through songs from Room to Breathe. It was a lot of fun. If I were the devil, I wouldn't wear red, wouldn't have horns or a pitchfork. I wouldn't breathe fire because it might give me away. But if I were the devil, you'd never know. I'd befriend you quick. And corrupt you slow so you don't notice till it's far too late. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the devil, I'd spend all day lowering standards of what's okay to think, to say, to watch on your TV. I'd break down the value of promises kept and fade out true till there's nothing left. Some gossip and lies popping up as thick as weeds. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, I might not be as foreign as you think. Cause I wouldn't only show my evil side. I've got the time and patience just to wait. To steal your soul just once and at a time. Like I would if I were. No, I'm not the devil, but if I was, I'd take God's people and split them up. Keep their minds off who they're called to be So they're no longer fighting over living or dead It's is it the body or just bread While all the unfed die hungry on the street If I were the devil If I were the devil I might not be as foreign as you think Cause I wouldn't only I've got the time and patience just to wait and Steal your soul just once and at a time Like I would if I would See, I'd make moms and dads and never stay 
so bad you have to drink to drown Guilt so I can kick you when you're down And I would if I If I were the devil, I wouldn't wear it I wouldn't breathe fire, cause it might give me away Oh my goodness, thank you. So over on Patreon, I mentioned having the um, the the happy hour over there on Zoom, where I played through some songs from that Room to Breathe record. One of the main things I do over on Patreon is I put all like a bunch of new songs that I haven't recorded yet. I put them on there, and I put old songs too. I actually put an old demo from a country song that I wrote from like the early two thousands up there a couple of days ago. Um, but there are a lot of videos of, of songs up there, and one of the ones I posted I think last week. Um, was a song from a number of years ago that I almost put on like two different records, but for some reason I talked myself out of it. It just doesn't fit. And um, so this is the kind of thing that um, it came out of feeling like what I was most afraid of in any arguments, particularly with my spouse, who will be walking in here and maybe singing Cold Hearted Snake later. Um, was just this, I had this really weird fear of admitting that I was wrong. Because if I admitted that I was wrong, even when I was wrong, then that meant um, that there might be other times in the future where I was right, but somebody could say that I was wrong, even when I was right. I, I don't want to give up that ground. So just say I'm right all the time. That doesn't work very well. First time I saw Superman, things started making sense. Cause I thought I had superpowers hidden deep within. So I walked up to the fastest kid there in my second grade. Said I can outrun speeding trains, do you want to race? I'll be wrong again 
I'm stubborn as a mule I build up all of these defenses Just trying to cover up the truth That I What is it about those little words that makes them hard to say? Seems like there's so much to lose and not a lot to gain. I don't believe that if I lay all my defenses down, anyone would care enough to stick around. But I've been wrong before I've been wrong before I've been wrong before I've been wrong before, been wrong before. And I'm trying to Well, there you go. That song is called I've Been Wrong. And let me welcome, you guys keep it quiet, Jill. Hey. Jill, happy anniversary guys? of Gullahorn Happy Hour. Remember our yes. first happy hour, which was up in, in uh, our bedroom? Yes. The window behind us? Yeah, I do remember. And then the, I think the second or third room, we went downstairs, and it just didn't work at all. Do you remember that? That was a little bit frustrating. Remember the one where yes. the, like, everybody was like, I can't hear you? Yes, I do remember that. And then we did one on the porch. We've come so, we come so far. Like, and we now finally it's like settled so on this tech. place. I know. <laughs> so, so high tech. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got some things. I, the first round of um, Family Feud. Okay. Instagram one. Okay. And um, I'm pulling for Facebook because I just think Facebook might have a good request for a next song to do. Oh, okay. no. Is there like a secret or something? No. Okay. Um, it's not a secret. Okay, so, um, but I haven't seen Chuck or Suzanne on here tonight, but, but as, as representatives for the Facebook team, Chuck and Suzanne Roberts from Dallas, Texas. Look at that shirt he's wearing. He's looking good. My buddy Chuck. They're usually playing over on Facebook and maybe he's here tonight. I just haven't seen his name. So, um, but he's, he's going to be the mascot for the Facebook team as they awesome. play. Um, I'll ask you what the favorite, what you think the favorite dog breeds were later. Okay. Okay. Do you think we should do? Okay. Definitely. All right. So we asked uh, many, many, many uh, very smart people on Instagram and Facebook. That's right. What your favorite board game is? I have the top six answers. So. Um, top six answers for favorite board game. Go. Between Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Waiting for the first answer to come up. Susie Pitts, the window washer or snake charmer or something like that. She says, well, first three people there say. Say Monopoly. Monopoly. That is a number two answer. That was a good job. Wait, where my hair pause? Nicely go. done. Good job. But if Facebook has the number one answer, then they're going to play it. Let's see. Um, they say Monopoly. Then Andrew Rupke says Ticket to Ride, which is one of my favorites. Ticket to Ride is great. That's the number three answer. So that's good, but not good enough to steal it from Instagram. So Facebook, once again, pay attention. Put the strikes up there if they happen to get any strikes. They have two out of the six already. We have Monopoly and Ticket to Ride. But Instagram is playing this one. Okay, so we're coming back up to these answers. Monopoly, Monopoly, Monopoly. Lulu WCU says Clue, which is the number four answer. Nice. Then, uh, Bervingdo, uh, I don't know how to say it. B. Irvingdo, 
How would you say it? I don't know, but... Burvingdo. Burvingdo. <laughs> I like Burvingdo. Likely isn't it, but I that was funny. Yeah. You, don't, you don't like Burvingdo? Burvingdo. Yeah, it is Burvingdo right now. It says Catan. Catan, that's the number one answer. Really? Yeah. You're, really? Have you ever played that before? Never. She's not a big board game person. <sighs> but we don't really play Catan very much. No. No, we haven't. I don't even know if we have Catan. I still have Sorry. Hey, you can't give away answers. I'm answer sorry. Yeah, okay. Maybe or maybe it's not on there, or maybe I don't maybe, know. Who knows? So they have four of the top six answers. Okay. Brooke says Candyland. Who doesn't love a game Candyland? That takes a lot of skill. <laughs> That's and, my kind of game. No skill. Um, a lot of people said Candyland, but not enough to put it in the top six answers. So sorry, that's a first strike. Somebody over here on Facebook, put that first strike on there. Sarah Jean, if you're doing that. Okay. Um, I know when I say Monopoly, I know that, that, that board game uh, nerds, like they really don't like Monopoly. They kind of look mm -hmm. down on Monopoly. So right. just take it easy here. Monopoly. I don't mind Monopoly. Catan. Jeremy the Camel says life. Good guess. Wait, wait, hold on. Life counts okay. because I, I I missed the number right here. So yeah. I, there are the top seven answers actually. Okay. Life is actually tied, tied, tied for fifth. These, yeah, okay, it's tied for fifth. Life is correct. All right, good job. All right. Did somebody already say clue? Yes, somebody said clue. Okay. Uh, Doug Pitts. Susie Pitts says clue. Doug Pitts says backgammon. And I think only one person said backgammon. It might have been you, Doug. So, I'm sorry, it's the second strike. You and my grandfather. He loved backgammon. There you go. Jeremy the Camel says Carcassonne, which is a great game. I don't even really know what that is. I'm sure we have it. Because Andy has every game known to man, and he has so many games that I have told him he cannot buy any more until we get rid of at least three. But you know what? It's not happened. He just continues to buy games. I get, I'm going to have any place to put them. It's like overflowing. Well, when, okay. you, when your job, my job for the past year yeah. has been game show host, fun facilitator. It's I've part, never it's played part of that Carcassonne, but I know we have I could it. Probably, I, should, it. I could probably write off all of the games. Mm, maybe so. I don't know. Okay. Carcassonne. That did not make not the top seven. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's three strikes. So there, there are two games, or two answers. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That haven't been named. And if Facebook can get it after uh, the three strikes that show up there, then they can steal it from. Um, there's the three strikes. Sarah Jean put it up there. Next answer right. can steal it if you get one of these two. Mark says. Sorry. Sorry. Not on there. I'm sorry. I would have thought it would have been. I mean, if y'all thought that Jill was not... giving a clue from reading off of here, yeah. sorry. She was. I mean, she was reading I off really of I really just wasn't. I was really just remembering it. But if it makes you feel any better, the next answer, I think Greg put apples to apples. And that is not it either. And it's also not on there. But Melissa did put Scrabble, and that was the number five answer. And then... The number seven most popular answer would have been Jill's answer. None. <laughs> I do enjoy board games. I just don't enjoy it at an obsessive level like you. So it makes me look like I don't enjoy them, but I probably just normal enjoy them. That's what I'm saying. It's just like a normal level of board game enjoyment. What is, what is normal level? Um, well, I would say normal to low is my board game enjoyment. But it's not zero. So normal level. I like I love Ticket to Ride Europe when we played that. Yeah, that was fun. That was really that was, fun. That was fun. I love that. Yeah. You're good at it too. Yep. I like Azul. That's a good game. I liked Azul. That was fun. I used to love Uno. You know what? This reminds me that number seven answer was none. That that one of uh, the popular answers with dog breeds was also no dogs. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, you're not giving away those answers yet. We're oh, we already did it. Oh, I was going to say Golden Doodle, and there it is. That's the number three, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, all right. let me see. Um, 
That's right. I know, I know Facebook didn't win this one, but does Facebook have a request? Does Facebook have a request? I mean, since you lost, it'll give you a request. And we'll also, we'll also give Instagram a request because you won. Mm -hmm. Instagram, do you have a request? Does anybody... Um... Oh, wait. Susie Pitts is requesting something over here on Instagram. <laughs> Cold-hearted snake. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, the one up the love and the what, what request do you want over right. there on... Um, let's see here. That request... I do have some songs ready but oh no andy is this what you're doing to me i don't i didn't i don't have this plan i didn't <gasps> lie they no i prom, trust me you'll see when i start playing it i don't know oh how gosh. to play this song i didn't i didn't prepare this i just felt bad because bo is asking he's been asking for it every week and it's i will do like right? one minute of it but i don't know because i love you bo black <laughs> and susie pitts so i don't know if i can do this I was all prepared to do something like earnest and sincere from my old catalog. All right, here we go. I think that's a close to... He's a cold hearted too high? snake. Look into his eyes. No, this is better? Okay. That was fine. I was just figuring out the key for my old snake. Look into his eyes. He's been telling lies, he's a lover boy play. He don't play by rules. I need some melody. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, don't play the fool, no. You're the one giving up the love anytime he needs it. But you turn your back and then he's off and running with the crowd. You're the one to sacrifice anything to please him. Do you really think he thinks about you when he's out? He's a cold hearted snake. As far as you're gonna get. That's as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> I think I think I think uh, Bo really wanted you to do the rap, but I don't. Oh man, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I don't remember it either. I'd have to practice that, Bo. This is just like random yeah. radio memory from the '80s because I used to just listen to the radio like nonstop. So that was just random memory. The rap, I'd have to practice. There you go. Yeah, I can't believe I pulled off that hard guitar part. I mean, I had to listen to it. <laughs> And um, uh, it, I really wasn't planning on doing that before I came up here. No, I was never, that was not what I was planning. But there you go. Okay, so. I do feel like my kids have told me that um, I have compartments in my brain for like really unimportant things. And, and sometimes mm -hmm. I can't even mm -hmm. remember like what they said 10 minutes ago. But if you're like, can you remember the first verse of Cold Hearted Snake? I'm like, why, yes, I can. So I don't know what that means, but normally useless, useful in this one moment. That was, I mean, you did a really good job singing that. I kind of, I kind of wanted you to sing more of it. I. I mean, I'm not saying you have to do it now. Yeah, I felt like I would be pressing my luck. Yeah. Yeah. So, Maybe. Yeah. But I was missing the harmonies. I'm remembering like a lot of harmonies. Are there harmonies on all that stuff that you sang? I feel like there were. Yeah. Nick yeah. Flores is requesting Lee Greenwood songs. <laughs> Nick, I need you to sing a Lee Greenwood song. That would be amazing. I if tomorrow it. all the things were gone, I worked for all my life, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. Thank my lucky stars to be living here today, standing here. Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't, can't take that away Alright, so another request <laughs> and, um, Being American That like modulation is like That's for you, Hardcore, Nick. yeah Oh my goodness All right. uh, It's been a while since we've done a um, you know covers night We'll have to do that again sometime. Nick, I want a remix of that I need your remix of that um, um where, where was I? No, I've, I've, we did Cold <laughs> no, Hearted Snake. You and, descended. And, uh, <laughs> proud to be an American. Or God you bless the USA. You visited this part of my brain. God That's bless it. the USA.
and defend herself today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. I don't know how it goes. Alright, there we go. That, that is a very, um, A uh, big sidetrack. Okay, what were you going to say? Sidetrack. I don't know, but I'm, I'm feeling like it needs to be um, real random. I don't know. Okay. Yeah? How about <laughs> a lot like me? How about oh, we do that? that? There's no um, segue. Here, use this, this guitar here. Okay. All right. Guys, this is what happens on Gullhorn Happy Hour. No preparation. Done, I haven't done this one in a while, but I was thinking I might have done this on one of the first episodes. So, I kind of like the idea, just in the future, like having a segment where it's kind of like the cover five minutes and, and people ask for covers and you just sing what you remember of it, but yeah. we don't have to, to plan it. I so like that. That's kind of what just happened. I like that. Give me one right now. Right now. Okay, somebody give her... Here, scoot up a little bit because I, I want you to be in the... I'll, I'll scoot behind you a little bit. All right, you, people see, are going to leave it, in uh, droves. Um... Yeah, how, how can we make people want to leave? You see? Um, I still don't see one. I know, nobody's testing us. They're done. They're like, okay, diversion ended. Yeah. Okay. Um, Higher low. Oh, yeah. What did you say? Bring me a singing the melody here. This is a probably a really bad Charlie idea. <laughs> what will we? And then it... Be your, your Bring me a higher love. Bring me a higher love. Oh. Bring me a higher love. A higher love. That's all the words I know. There you go. That's what we got. I can't wait for don't, don't. I'm not It's not funny. Okay, all that's right. it. There you go. That's boring diversion of higher love. Oh, let me make sure this is in tune. Now to something we actually do know, hopefully. This goes out to this goes out to all of the wonderful people that join us on happy hour all this time including holy cow this is just some of them some people sent all these yes. uh, anniversary cards to the post office box thank you reading thank you how guys. much uh, happy hour has meant to you over this last year has meant a lot to me so thank you guys just got those that. today that was such an unexpected treat so thank you to say the way you really feel Like there's no way that I could understand where you were coming from But if we could tear down these walls of bricks and mortar built with fear I think we'd be surprised to find how small the difference is
I just wanted to be obstinate. Um, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, all right, what well, you got next? Let me um, do something real quick so you can do another song before we end here. Um, I was thinking about one, and it just. Was it um, the cure pictures of you? I don't even I don't even know how that goes. Okay, just just how does it go? I don't know. You you totally know, or so you wouldn't have said that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sing it now. I mean, I just remind me what the song what the song is. Um, these pictures of you sounds like that. What? <laughs> Every once in a while, the world stops spinning enough that I can take a step back and get the picture. I see the twists and the turns. I see the patterns that form. I see how perfect they are. And I remember all the good things all the good things all the good things you've done for me and though the feeling is real i know it's fleeting to feel one day i'll forget you were here and start to wonder in that season of doubt, you'll still be showering me with blessings I can't see, that can't be numbered. Like all the good things, all the good things, all the good things you've done.
you know what you're doing If I could see like you do With your perspective view The fires I'm walking through Would look much different and See those difficult days Sing, had to sing background on that song with me before. I know, I was enjoying it. I'm sorry, like there, there's of... some phrasing things like, oh no, I'm, I need to sing in a way where you. Can no, me I like that. that. I like, um, I like having to figure it out in the moment. Good. Yeah. Well, it's fun. I was happy to give you that joy. Um, do you, um, So we got one more song for you. Thank you for joining us for the 59th episode of Gullahorn Happy Hour, the one year anniversary. Can't believe it's been one year, but it has. And we made it through together, much like the Gullahorn Happy Hour shirts say, making it through together, although I don't have a shirt up here to show you. If you but want you one. You didn't wear it yesterday, I think. Because we I covered, did. Yep. If you want one, you can go to. Um, also, uh, while, while Suzanne Roberts is on here, I want to make sure that you, you saw that. Uh, well, saw that picture. Anyways, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, if you want one, you can get it on IndieGuildahorn.com. But on my special announcements bulletin, there's this week only through Friday, there's a 15% discount on the store at IndieGuildahorn.com, including those Gullahorn Happy Hour shirts. You just have to put in this code, one year. If you're on Instagram, the code is not... Ray, you know, it is one year. Okay? Yes. You got that. You guys can figure that out. Uh, you can go to andygillhorn.com or andygillhorn.com slash happy hour. Uh, what does this say? Patreon.com slash andygillhorn if you want to join Patreon. Because um, you've got an event coming up for Patreon, right? Like you're doing like do. a game night soon. This is an insider thing. I, I recommend, I mean, there's a lot of songs up there on Patreon, and I just put up the whole video of the Room to Breathe special happy hour. Um, but the, the trick is they charge you at the beginning of the month. And if you join at the end of the month, they're still going to charge you for this month. So just wait till next month to join. Unless you really want to get yeah. on happy hour at the end of the, you know, whatever. So, I mean, just so you know, I feel bad about double charging somebody if they join at the end of the month. But that's how they do it. Okay, if you want to support the happy hour, you can also go do Venmo at Andy Gullihorn, PayPal, Andy at AndyGullihorn.com. I share the money with Jill sometimes. And once again... Happy birthday to David Calvert today. And Happy congratulations birthday, to Instagram on a win. That takes it to four to six. It's getting close. Um, is this the right key? Uh, yep, sounds right. So, we didn't I mean, play it on this one, but here goes. Yeah, these are songs about community and what you guys have meant to us. Making it through a year together. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think about it, a lot of these people, these names, they didn't know each other. A year ago. I know, that makes me really I'm not happy. saying that you ever met each other in person, but it makes me happy to see you guys talking to each other. That was a really um, unexpected, fun result of Gullahorn Happy Hour, is that the community would, um, there would be community outside of this, and that's, that's pretty great. And, and if you feel be, like there's all these people that are really good friends that are talking on Facebook and Instagram, I mean, they are, but they, they are because they've been a part of this community and they're yep. stepping into it so 
You're there too. You're new. You're so just welcome. Join in. Yep. You're welcome here. And hi, Vicky Green. Um, hi, Vicky. Hi, buddy. Ooh. We love you guys. We get to do a show with them in the summer, and I'm so excited about that. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, here goes. <clears throat> I was singing that I was literally like imagining y'all's faces in my mind um you guys that have like been with us like these faces like all this year like... um my neighbors my friend like like my my people mm -hmm. uh, you we've gotten through this year together it's just filled filled with gratitude um for you all yeah I think about that second verse when I think about this like <clears throat> What is it? Stones are the ones that we love. Yeah, and they're, they're gathering, gathering up, up, forming a wall. Forming a wall. And the mortar within is the time that we spend to set it in strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we've been together 
some of us 59 times over the last year and it makes a difference so and some and years before that even so beautiful beautiful thing that will be one of the things i am grateful for from this past year is you all so thank you yes and thanks again to everyone who sent those cards that was very very kind and um yeah and it's still hard and we need each other so it's still in case you noticed it's still hard so um we're not keep, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, we're not going soon. anywhere. Keep coming back. If you want to just, you can, sh that's the awesome thing about Gullhorn Happy Hour. You can come however you're feeling, be wherever you are, and um, and be here. And you're welcome here. So, yes. everybody's got a seat at the table. And you so know when the on. world goes back to normal and start traveling again? You know, who knows? But I'd still do some Gullhorn Happy Hours online so that we can do yeah. this. Who else is gonna listen to me and sing eighty songs? One day, no one. One day, I want to do like, like have like maybe once a month, like a Gullhorn Happy Hour live in Nashville. Like people yes. come to go, the live Gullhorn Happy Hour, so we can actually have people come up on stage and play Family Feud. That's really all I care. We about. were we were talking about the other night when we were out in our yard at the bonfire. We were like, I wonder if we could do a live one out here, um, and like be socially distanced and safe and all that. So we're dreaming. Really, we're I just dreaming want a buzzer. I just that. want to stand with a buzzer. And selfishly, I just want to play in another covers night too because I feel like well, we'll it just like brought it out of me tonight. These random requests. We can make it happen. Okay. Let's we'll think about it. All right. Anyways, um, we love you guys. Thank you for being a part of Gullahorn Happy Hour. Once again, if you want a Gullahorn Happy Hour shirt or a high five shirt or a love local shirt or anything, on the mm -hmm. website andygullahorn.com, there's a special discount. One year. One year. T-shirt like discount, 15%. Spelled out, O-N-E-Y-E-A-R, 15% -E 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 15 off of whatever you order there. And that goes through Friday night. And um, and until then, you can imagine live Gullhorn Happy Hour with Steve Marcy facing off against Laura Preston with the buzzer. Ooh. It's going to happen. That's, that's worth getting my vaccination for. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. That was fun. Good night, guys. We'll see you next week, next Monday night for... Um, the 60th Gullahorn Happy Hour ever. So we'll see you there. Thank you guys and congratulations Instagram for winning. All right, good job. Night Instagram. Okay, wait, how do I? In that. Facebook, I'm sorry for your loss. <clears throat> um, you were close though. You had a bunch of good guesses. It was just like you were, it was like number five instead of number four. So there you go. So, uh, you know your board games. Bo Black says if we do do it live, he'll fly up. I don't know if he means do the Gullahorn Happy Hour live or Cold Hearted Snake. I mean, either way. I think if Bo, Bo flies, then we can do both. I think he did a good job at Cold Hearted Snake. Like, that was, it took me more prep than you did, and, and that was just listening to what the chords were, and the chords were just the same. I listened to a lot of Paula Abdul in the 80s. Like, it, it just came back. It was like a, it was like a body. Do you memory. call it, you made fun of me for saying that, do you call her Paula Abdul? Yeah. Paula Abdul. A car Abdul. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't I've never, know her. I've, I've just never heard you say that before. I've never asked her, but that's what I feel like she is in my heart. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're probably right. All right. All right. See you guys. Bye, guys.